Good morning, friends. Welcome to our weekly baby lap sit story time. My name is Miss Adrian. Um, I am one of the children's librarians from the San Mateo County Libraries. And um, this morning we're going to do a baby lap sit story time. So let's get started. Some items that you might want to have available for baby laps that are, um, you may want to have a musical instrument of some sort, so like a rattle or um, a xylophone or a drum, any, any type of musical instrument so at the end we'll have music time. You may also want to gather um, some sort of a, a cloth to play peekaboo with, um, like I have a burp cloth here, which is a good choice if you have it right with you. Um, but if you have a t-shirt or um, anything like that, a blankie, all of that would work to play peekaboo with. We have one peekaboo um, activity. And um, yeah, so this uh, story time is a lap sit. So what that means is um, most of the activities are going to be something you would do if you had your child seated in your lap. I'm going to use Mr. Bear here um, to demonstrate. Um, if you do have an infant who is very young and isn't able to sit up yet um, or doesn't have head control, then that's totally fine. They can participate. Um, what you're going to want to do is just lay them on the floor on their backs and you can sort of um, play with their legs, play with their arms, do little things um, to help them participate in the activities too. Um, usually we put down, you know, a blanket or something for them to lie on. Um, but um, yeah. And then if you have an older child who might need a bit more movement um, and a bit more um, uh, involvement in the rhymes, I'll also try and give some prompts on how they can participate too, because um, they know older children um, are probably in the room with you. <laughs> Everybody likes to be together, um, you know, so um, they would want to participate too. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's do a quick early literacy tip today. Early literacy um, is a collection of skills, like a skill set that children need to have to be successful when they enter kindergarten and start learning how to read. And um, there are um, six skills that researchers have identified um, that children need to have um, but the good thing for you is those skills can be taught very, very easily um, at home in very little um, pieces of time throughout your day. So what I would um, just say about that is um, they, we as librarians have put together sort of a, um, a program where called Every Child Ready to Read, um, which came from the Public Library Association and the Association of Library Services to Children. Um, that um, takes those skills and repackages them into five actions that you can take. So those actions are reading, writing, singing, talking, and playing, which are things you're probably doing anyway. And um, you can do in little pieces of time throughout your day so you don't feel like, oh, it's another big thing I have to do. Because um, I know there's always, there's already a million things you have to do. Um, and <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking, I, we just started uh, really brushing my son's teeth. He finally has teeth. And it's like, there's always these new things. You're like, oh, now we have to do the toothbrushing, you know. So um, don't feel pressured to do early literacy activities in a big way. You can do them in little spurts throughout your day. Um, so like, if you are, um, you know, changing the diaper, you can sing a song while you're changing the diaper. Or um, you can... Um, sing songs while we're eating, right? You might want to sing food songs. You could sing Polly Put the Kettle On or, um, you know, uh, trying to think of another food song. Um, Davy Davy Dumpling, uh, you know, sing a song in sixpence, something like that, right? So food rhymes, um, you'll, you'll start getting into a rhythm with it if you try incorporating that throughout your day. Okay, that's my early literacy tip for the day. Um, so let's get started with our program. Today's program is going to be slightly shorter than we have been doing, um, than I've been doing for the past two months. Um, we got some feedback that shorter programs are easier um, for parents, and that's cool. I understand that. Um, so I'm going to do about 20 minutes of activities as opposed to a half hour of activities. Okay, let's get started. 
So we'll do our hello song. Um, here's our pointer finger. It's called I Am Special. And it goes like this. I am special. I am special. You can see. You can see. Someone very special. Someone very special. That is me. That is me. Yay. Very nice. Good job. And we'll do it one more time. Ready? So we go. I am special. I am special. You can see. You can see. Someone very special. Someone very special. That is me. That is me. Yay. Very nice. Excellent, everyone. All right, let's do um, let's do Little Red Wagon, which is a lap bounce. So um, for our seated babies, we're going to have them in our laps bouncing. Um, older children might want to bounce up and down. Um, and uh, babies on the floor, um, you might just want to tip them. So this song, um, we eventually start tipping them side to side. So if you have a baby on the floor, you can sort of move their legs and sort of move them side to side like that. Okay. All right, it goes like that. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off. And the axle's broken. Won't you be my darling? Yay! Good job, everyone. Excellent, excellent. Let's do it one more time, ready? Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Won't you be my darling? Yay! Excellent. Good job, everyone. Let's do a body awareness rhyme. Um, it's a good uh, time to start teaching your baby about, um, you know, their different body parts, where are your eyes, where are your nose, you know, things like that. So we're going to do, um, here are baby's fingers, and it goes like this. Here are baby's fingers, here are baby's toes, here is baby's tummy button, round and round it goes. And we give them a little tickle there. <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay, one more time. Here are baby's fingers. Here are baby's toes. Here is baby's tummy button. Round and round it goes. Yay. Very nice. Good job, everyone. Okay. One more time. Ready? Here are baby's fingers. Here are baby's toes. Here is baby's tummy button. Round and round it goes. Yay. Excellent. Excellent. All right, let's do, um, let's do I'm a little teapot. So for that one, um, if it's comfortable for you and your baby, um, you are going to do one arm on the hip and then one arm up in the air. If that is not comfortable and your child does not want to do that, don't worry about it. Um, we, they might enjoy tipping. We tip them over. Um, and big kids um, might want to stand up and they might definitely want to do hand on the hip. This is your hip. Yeah. And one hand up in the air. That's our teapot spout. Okay, ready? So it goes like this. We're gonna point. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, and here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout, just tip me over and pour me out. Yay! Very nice. Good job. <clears throat> okay. Ready? One more time. 
I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. Yay! Very nice. Excellent. Okay, let's move on to Old McDonald. We can practice our animal noises. I have my um, animal cube here to help us. So let's start with this man. A biggie. Yeah, it's a big. Okay, let's do it. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there was a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there was a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo. And old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there was a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a ba ba here and a ba ba there, here a ba there a ba everywhere a ba ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, e i e i o. And on that farm there was a duck, e i e i o. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here a quack there a quack everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm there was a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay-nay here and a nay-nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay-nay, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, yay, very nice, yay, <laughs> excellent. Good job, everyone. Very fun. Okay, let's do our next activity. We'll do so big. Um, one of my favorites. Um, it's based on, um, there is a book called So Big by Dan Yaccarino, which I like to use, um, but I don't have that book. So we're just going to use our stuffies. When we say so big, what we're going to do is we either raise our arms up, arms up, or um, we can lift our child in the air if that is comfortable for us. Um, otherwise, just do arms. Okay. Let's start with the monkey. Okay, ready? How big is a baby monkey? So big. How big is a baby bear? So big. Don't do this with your baby. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. How big is a baby moose? So big. How big is a baby orangutan? So big. How big is a baby raccoon? So big. And how big are you? I'm so big. Yay. Excellent. Good job, everyone. That was fun. Okay. Let's move on to our uh, Mother Goose. We'll do a few Mother Goose and then song time and we'll be done. Okay? So let's start with patty cake. We haven't done that in a long time, right? We're going to clap. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, pat it, mark it with a B. 
put it in the oven for baby and me. Yay! Very nice. And of course, if you're doing that rhyme at home and you want to use your child's name, um, go ahead and do that. So you might want to say, you know, put it in the oven for Davy and me or, you know, Angela and me or whatever. Okay. So um, let's do it again. Ready? Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, pat it, mark it with a B, put it in the oven for baby and me. Yay! Very nice. Good job. Let's do Twinkle Twinkle, a favorite. Let's do it. So we're going to do open, shut the hands. Um, if you have a very young child, they aren't going to be able to do this yet. So we'll do it for them. So it's like a peekaboo. Um, older children, we're going to open, shut our hands, and then we're going to make a diamond. So we touch our thumb together. We touch our pointer fingers together. We make a diamond up in the sky. And anyone with a small baby who might think about lifting them if you um, if that's comfortable for you during Diamond in the Sky. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay! Very nice. Good job. Okay, one more time, right? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are very good excellent everyone that was so nice Okay, so let's do one more Mother Goose and then we'll have music time. Let's do, let's do Old Mother Goose. We haven't done that in a while. So we're gonna um, tap our knees where our baby's leg and then the Old Mother Goose flies through the air. So we're gonna lift our baby, sort of flying from one leg to the other. Okay, all right, do it again. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on a very fine gander. Very excellent. Okay, one more time. Right? Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on a very fine gander. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, so let's have music time now. This will be our last activity for the day. If you want to grab your instruments, go ahead and do that. Um, any type of instrument is okay, even something, whatever you've got around, go and, um, you know, grab something fun to um, participate. So I'm going to play a song, um, it's called the Crawdad Song. It's a, just a traditional folk song. Um, yeah, so about going to the lake and fishing for crawdads. Crawdads are, um, they're like river shrimp, um, in case your child is asking. So they probably, they like the older children. Okay, let's do it. You get a line and I'll get a line. You get a line and I'll get a full page. You get a line and I'll get a full page. Go down to the crowd and hold on to the baby line. 
get a line and I'll get a pole. You get a line and I'll get a pole, baby. You get a line and I'll get a pole. We go down to Crawdapple, baby. Okay, so let's do musical interlude. So I'm just gonna play, and everybody's gonna do some percussion. Shake your shakers, um, bang your drum, play your piano, whatever you wanna do. All right, let's go. for joining me today um we, i do a baby story time every wednesday i'm um, at 10 30 a.m um if you can't tune in 10 30 these um programs are archived so you can watch it anytime during the day that works for you um and i also just want to remind you that we are having our summer learning program this summer um and children as young as infants can participate you just want to um go to summerlearners.org and you'll get all the information. We have a downloadable um, reading log. So every day when you read with your baby, um, you can mark off your progress. And at the end, everybody gets entered to win um, a $1,000 scholarship for college. So um, never too early to start saving for college. <laughs> all right, let's do I am special and then we'll be all done, ready? I am special. I am special, you can see, you can see, someone very special, someone very special, that is me, that is me. Good job today everyone, I'll see you next time, bye bye. <laughs>